Uh, and now it's something wrong with your share with for me at least. You don't see the sharing anymore. Recording. Go ahead. Uh, so hello everyone. Um, today I would like to shortly present you an initiative we launched three years ago, which is called Wikifundi. But first I would like to give you a little bit of background. I have been a Wikipedian like forever since 2002. So it was just after the launching of Wikipedia. And on Wikipedia, I've played many different roles. I've served in many different capacity. And one of the things I very quickly noticed is that we had an issue with uh, the diversity of content and diversity of participation. So let me give you two figures to um, better uh, contextualize the situation. This was from a study made around 2015. And at that time, this is a heat map. There were 100 times more geotagged entries about France, I'm French, than about Africa as a continent. There's a huge difference. But there was not only a difference in terms of content, there was also a difference in terms of participation. And a second figure is we had at that time more edits from Hong Kong than from the entire continent of Africa. We still had content on Wikipedia. We had, for example, on, Wiki, uh, on Wikimedia Commons, we had pictures. These pictures illustrated essentially a giraffe and elephants and nice sunsets over uh, a river. So yeah, bottom line, most of the content was coming from tourists. So it really gave uh, a sort of a single story of Africa, which I thought was not the right story. And I wanted to move on that. And back in 2013, I created a whole bunch of initiatives that are still currently running pretty successfully. So I gave some of the, of the logos here. And in particular, there was Wiki Loves Africa, which is a photographic contest and which aims to precisely get African people in their hands the participation to Wikipedia. And they started doing that, but as they were doing that, we met a sort of a, an issue and its issue was connectivity. Um, whilst most French people or US people or Canadian people are actually connected for a rather limited amount of price and pretty well, it was not the case in Africa. And our um, participants organized events. They tried to collect people, get people to participate. They're, everything was ready for an event. And at the last moment when they tried, to actually do something in Wikipedia, they run into this issue of connectivity. So we thought, how can we maybe change things and try to set up a tool that would be uh, create a bridge between the online world and the offline world. So it's something that is not entirely meant for people without any connection, but it's something that helps those who have uh, poor connectivity or sometimes shaky connectivity. And this is Wikifundi. Basically, the idea is to set up a tool that mimics the, comp the behavior of Wikipedia, but is not Wikipedia. We used the same software, which is MediaWiki, and we packaged it to make it look as if it was Wikipedia, but we make it run onto a Raspberry Pi or on it, any type of offline service. So what it does is that the, 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 the software is put on a server such as a Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is super light. It costs around 60 euros, roughly. We plug it into the electricity or in a battery, external battery, and then it opens a space where people can contribute through a Wi-Fi, a local Wi-Fi, which is about the size of a classroom, for example. So we have been distributing, this is a, typically the, the, the first page of Wikifundi, and this is a, a simplified space where adults and children all together by groups of around 10 people can write an article which is hosted locally. And when there is access to, Wiki, to internet, then the article can be moved online onto Wikipedia or any other type of wiki, by the way. So it's also became a tool which allows to um, participate, collaborate and write text together 
without any issue related to internet access. We have used Wikifundi in different projects since then. We have obviously distributed it to Wikipedia user group uh, that developed over time in Africa, but we also use it as part of several education initiatives. And I'm going to give you just the example of one of them, the Wiki Challenge Ecole d'Afrique, African Schools. This is a project I've been running for four years now, and this runs in Francophone Africa, where the primary schools are kids. So the teachers, the, the school are equipped with Wikifundi on the Raspberry Pi with a bunch of offline resources, such as Kiwix resources. And the kids together in classroom try to write about their own environment, their own life, uh, the, 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 the city, the mountains, the rivers surrounding them. And once the article is written, it is collected by facilitators who then are putting that online on Wikidea. So this, is, this became not only a tool to help African get online, but it also became a tool that help um, children uh, to learn new skills, such as collaboration, critical thinking, uh, writing together, learning about how to write uh, real articles in a real encyclopedia. And of course, all the, the content they create is then published online. So one year later, when the, the, the schools are, have their resources updated through Kiwix, then they get to see the articles they wrote a year before is currently available to all children online. And I'd like to conclude uh, to say that there, we are a bunch of Wikipedian working on this uh, uh, offline disconnected situation. We call ourselves the Wikimedians for offline wikis. We're a small user group. And if you're interested by this subject and want to participate because you are active in particular in the education sector uh, in uh, issues related to connectivity, I invite you to join us or to get in contact with us. I put a whole bunch of links on the last slide. All the slides are already updated on the OER Global platform. So you can access them and click on the link to either look at what we are doing as part of Wiki in Africa or look at what how Wikifundi is working and down, uh, downloading it or look at the um, uh, African contest uh, challenge if your French speaking is better. Um, and we have a couple of minutes for questions or comments and I'm uh, uh, willing to answer. Thank you very much, uh, Florence. Um, I only see compliments uh, for you. Uh, as Jan Bart writes, not many Wikipedians oh, have done so much for the movement. So uh, a great presentation and, and I, I really enjoyed it. Um, and looking at the time and I don't see any questions, um, I'm gonna stop the recording. Thank you.